Uncertainty looms as the estimated launch day for Flight 7 approaches, with several factors calling the timeline into question. When can we realistically expect this historic mission to take place? Meanwhile, Blue Origin has officially announced the launch date for New Glenn's maiden flight. With both Starship and New Glenn still awaiting their first launches, the question arises, which rocket will reach the skies first? In an unexpected development, Sierra Space's CEO has announced their retirement. What could be the reasons behind this sudden leadership change? Join us as we explore these significant updates on today's episode of Great SpaceX. As of the latest updates, SpaceX is targeting January 10th for the highly anticipated Flight 7 launch, consistent with earlier statements from Elon Musk. However, despite the proximity to the proposed date, several factors are raising doubts about whether the timeline can be achieved. Historically, SpaceX has released live stream schedules well in advance of a launch, often more than a week before liftoff. This time, there has been no such announcement. Moreover, while the company has recently shared updates on the upgrades and tasks for Flight 7, the launch date itself has been conspicuously absent from these communications. In terms of technical progress, signs also suggest potential delays. If the launch were indeed scheduled for January 10th, integration testing involving a fully stacked Starship system should already be underway. However, the current status of Ship 33 and B-14 indicates otherwise. S-33 appears to have completed its static fire checks and was moved on to a transport stand in Mega Bay 2 as of January 6th. Notably, the flight termination system has already been installed, a deviation from past practices where installation occurred after stacking the ship onto the Super Heavy booster. While this may signal an operational shift, it also means that S-33's movement and additional tasks could consume valuable time. The next flight includes deploying simulated Starlink satellites. Images of these satellites taken inside the Star Factory confirm that they have yet to be loaded into S-33's payload bay. Two scenarios could explain this. SpaceX may install the payload after the integration test to avoid potential damage, which would allow S-33 to move earlier. Alternatively, SpaceX might load the payload before moving S-33, extending the timeline for this critical step. Meanwhile, activity around the launch pad shows recent relocation of a grove crane and the removal of B-14's hot staging ring. This raises questions about whether SpaceX is conducting checks on the grid fins, essential for booster recovery, or addressing potential issues with the hot staging mechanism. In a more extreme scenario, SpaceX could even be considering replacing the hot staging system altogether, which would further complicate the schedule. Adding to these logistical challenges, no road closures have been announced by Cameron County, a prerequisite for testing, transportation, or launch operations. Even if S-33 is moved to the launch pad soon, stacking it onto B-14 might not occur immediately, depending on the status of both ship and the booster. Weather conditions during the launch week are another significant factor contributing to doubts. Current forecasts indicate potentially unfavorable conditions, including strong winds and rain. These elements could impact not only the launch, but also pre-launch operations and post-launch recovery, both of which require precision and clear visibility. SpaceX might be monitoring the forecast closely to identify the optimal window for a safe and successful launch. If the January 10th launch does not materialize, there is still a window for flexibility, according to the FAA's advisory details and notice to airmen, SpaceX has reserved a launch window extending from the 10th all the way to the 16th. This range provides additional time for the company to finalize preparations and address any remaining issues. A slight delay would also allow SpaceX to wait for more favorable weather conditions. Speculation about a revised date is growing, and some believe the launch could occur on the 13th, three months after Flight 5, which marked an unprecedented feat for the company. This would symbolically reinforce SpaceX's commitment to maintaining its remarkable pace of innovation and progress. Until SpaceX releases an official update, all we can do is wait and watch the developments closely. For now, the doubts surrounding the January 10th launch reflect the intricate balance of engineering, weather, and operational factors that SpaceX must manage. With the company's track record of addressing challenges swiftly and effectively, optimism remains high that Flight 7 will soon take to the skies, even if it's not on the originally planned date. Leaving Starbase and shifting focus to Florida, we find New Glenn still standing tall on its launch pad at Launch Complex 36. Previously, Blue Origin had estimated the rocket's debut mission for the 6th of January. However, that date has come and gone without a launch, leaving many space enthusiasts puzzled. In a surprising turn of events, Blue Origin took to X 
to announce a new launch date. The post stated, Launch alert! We're targeting New Glenn's first launch no earlier than the 10th of January from LC-36. This announcement was accompanied by a photo of New Glenn on the pad. Adding to the excitement, Blue Origin CEO Dave Limp reposted the announcement with another photo of the Blue Ring payload being installed at the factory. His message read, Blue Ring Pathfinder integrated, Jacqueline well underway, launch license received, here we go. Blue Origin's website also published an update detailing the mission timeline. According to the post, the inaugural flight of New Glenn is now targeting January 10th. The three-hour launch window will open at 1 a.m. Eastern. This mission will serve as the rocket's first National Security Space Launch Certification Flight, a significant milestone for the company. The latter part of the announcement elaborated on the mission and payload. Despite the optimism surrounding the update, some confusion remains. At this point, there are no visible barriers preventing New Glenn's launch. All ground tests have been successfully completed and the necessary launch licenses have been secured. However, the delayed timeline has sparked speculation. In the update, Jarrett Jones, senior vice president of Blue Origin, emphasized the importance of the upcoming flight. This is our first flight and we've prepared rigorously for it. But no amount of ground testing or mission simulations are a replacement for flying this rocket. It's time to fly. No matter what happens, we'll learn, refine, and apply that knowledge to our next launch. While this statement conveys confidence, it doesn't completely rule out the possibility of unforeseen technical issues with either the rocket or the launch pad following earlier tests. Interestingly, the updated launch schedule for New Glenn might coincide with SpaceX's Starship Flight 7, assuming there are no delays on either side. If both rockets were to launch on the same day, it would undoubtedly be a historic moment for the space industry, marking a pivotal year in commercial space exploration. However, the likelihood of this occurring remains slim. As of now, updates suggest that delays for either mission are still possible. Blue Origin's Flight Tracker website lists the New Glenn launch window as extending from the 10th to the 14th. If New Glenn faces additional delays and SpaceX's Starship Flight 7 remains on schedule, it's conceivable that New Glenn could launch later than Starship, despite its earlier announced window. For now, it's anyone's guess. In the meantime, space enthusiasts are encouraged to speculate and share their predictions. Which will fly first, New Glenn 1 or Starship Flight 7? The coming days promise to be fascinating, with potential surprises from both SpaceX and Blue Origin. Stay tuned for updates as the situation unfolds. Shifting gears, another significant development in the aerospace sector involves the sudden resignation of Tom Weiss, CEO of Sierra Space. According to press releases, Weiss stepped down at the end of 2024, with Sierra Space attributing his departure to retirement. In a statement, the company expressed its gratitude. After three and a half years in the role, Tom Weiss has retired as Sierra Space CEO as of the end of 2024. We thank him for his leadership and wish him well in his retirement. Curiously, there had been no prior indication of Vice's retirement plans. This unexpected announcement has led to speculation about the true nature of his departure. Journalist Eric Berger weighed in on the situation via X, stating, I got a tip that Sierra Space CEO Tom Vice was fired this morning. I asked the company, and they said he retired effective December 31st. His claim, paired with the abrupt nature of the announcement, has fueled rumors that Vice's exit may not have been entirely voluntary. The letter confirming Vice's departure also named his interim successor, Fatih Osman, chairman of the Sierra Space Board of Directors and CEO of Sierra Nevada Corporation, will assume leadership of the company during this transitional period. SNC is Sierra Space's parent company from which it spun off in 2021. Sierra Space has gained recognition in the aerospace industry for its ambitious projects, including the Dream Chaser space plane and the Life Inflatable Space Station module. With Vice's resignation and new leadership at the helm, the company's future direction is uncertain. While it's too early to predict the long-term effects, such a leadership change could signal a shift in strategy or priorities for Sierra Space. The timing of this transition is intriguing. Many space agencies and companies, including NASA and China's CNSA, are undergoing leadership changes as they gear up for an increasingly competitive landscape. These shifts suggest a broader pattern of reorganization within the industry, potentially in preparation for the heightened challenges and opportunities of the next decade. The stakes are higher than ever, and it will be fascinating to watch how Sierra Space and its competitors adapt to the rapidly evolving space race. As 2025 unfolds, the aerospace industry is poised for a series of pivotal events and milestones. 
from SpaceX and Blue Origin's ongoing rivalry to Sierra Space's uncertain trajectory under new leadership, the coming months promise to be a dynamic and transformative period. With so much staying informed and engaged will be essential for those following the next chapter in humanity's journey to the stars. And that's about it for today's episode. Thanks for tuning in. As always, this has been Kevin with a cold from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.